Hi everyone, you can come for a walk with me today as I'm just on my way out to go meet my mum for lunch, which is what I do on a Wednesday with my brother who's also self-employed. So just at home at the moment and uh, I've been working from home this morning, which I often do. Uh, sometimes I go and work in co-working lounges um, and some places in Cambridge or London as well. But this morning I've been at home, which means I've had a, a chance to go for another lovely walk, which has been great. And I've been writing my ebook, which I'm doing little by little, slice by slice. So I've had a couple more questions come in from behind the scenes with Diva and um, one of the first ones was about um, what is my main time management tip and also somebody else asked you know how do I manage you know do I plan everything out or do I just kind of see how it all goes um, and I have kind of do a mixture of both if truth be told and I am a real Evernote fan and I have my daily uh, sort of lists for things to do each day on a separate list and I also have my weekly tasks and then all my research and everything goes into Evernote. Um, you can catch up on a blog post I did this week on how I use Evernote over on the blog which is dexterousdiva.co.uk of course. Um, so I plan everything out in Evernote and I also on every day I have some set tasks which I do every day. Um, one of which is writing my current ebook. So I, I set aside some time to just sit and blast that as a chunk. And I do that before I check my email. So checking email can be that thing where you suddenly get pulled into a whole load of other stuff to do and distractions. So what I tend to do is go for my morning walk or, um, or for my morning run and, and come home, sit with a cup of tea and write my slice of my ebook you know and and then I start with any social media stuff and open my email and see what's going on so I guess there's a couple of time management tips in there one is don't check your email the first thing because you just get it taken off two is don't check your, you know your social media before you get started on something important and three is Evernote and just plan everything out and I put my time next to each important task so I have my recurring tasks in there which I write in my ebook which are updating my blog and um, and any client work that I have to do on any given day. Obviously as a self-employed mum things can tend to go out of the window really easily so today I, um, I went to school and suddenly I found out that I've got to run up a star costume by this afternoon or find a star costume or something so you know family stuff can encroach on work and also all it takes is a, you know somebody to be ill either me or the children or an urgent client deadline to sort of come in and things have to be rejigged which if truth be told I'm not always really brilliantly calm about so on those days I move the non-important stuff over and I just deal with anything that I really really have to urgently do that day so just keeping track of all my tasks and all my research and all my ideas somewhere safe um, like Evernote is something which works really well for me. I also track my time, um, often use something called Yast, yast.com uh, or Yast, depending on how you want to pronounce it, so that I know how much time I'm spending on certain client jobs. Um, so I just stay as organised as possible and as flexible as possible is the answers to those questions and then some days we just go with the flow. Anyway, I'm off with the flow now to have lunch with my mum because I'm self-employed and that's what I can do. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Any more behind the scenes with Diva stuff that you'd like to ask, just give me a shout you know, below here in the comments on Facebook, on Google+, on Twitter. Just come and say hi. And I've got some more questions to, ask, to answer later on in the week. And I hope that's helped. Okay, thanks. Bye.